everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, for those of you that are familiar with my channel, you know that most of my videos are off-road based, hiking, uh, camping, overlanding, just basically being outdoors. This video is going to be a little bit different. this drone back in October and it was just delivered to me a couple of days ago in mid-January. I've yet to fly this drone. This will be the maiden trip. We're just going to a place 10 minutes down the road from where I live and we're just going to get it up in the air and test it out. The weather today really is not ideal. It's cold, it's cloudy, it's spitting snow a little bit here and there. So not great conditions but we're going to see what this thing does. See if it'll follow us now. Okay. All right, it's currently on the side of us. Let's see if it'll start tracking here. has us in view. That's pretty cool. So like I said, the reason I got this drone, I've had DJI drones in the past, and they're great. I mean, DJI makes a great product. But when you're making off-road videos, it's like you're concentrated on driving. You don't want to be concentrating on flying a drone and driving at the same time. So when this product came out and it essentially flies itself with obstacle avoidance, I mean, I had to, I had to get it. <laughs> Still has us. So I'm in an area right now that doesn't have too many trees, um, you know, going through the trail itself. Pretty much there is a little bit of uh, trees over the road up here. We'll see how it does with the obstacle avoidance. Right now it's tracking us really well. Okay. So we can uh, make the drone further back from the vehicle. So put the minus button, see what that does. Okay. Minus may have brought it closer. Let's uh, hit the plus button. Let's see what that does. Okay, there it goes. Now it's moving away from the vehicle a little bit. And hit plus again. It's giving more of that land 
landscape shot, more of a cinematic feel. There's a little bit of a turnaround right here, so we'll see if it follows us through this turnaround. Still has us. So it's going to GPS tracking. It looks like it's behind a tree right now. It's trying to get through the tree. Okay, it says unable to follow. Skydio 2 is blocked by an obstacle. Okay. Okay. Well, it got through itself. All right, perfect. Well, it's still got us. See, that is the <laughs> is just amazing. So if any other drone in the market, like, you just can't do that. That drone literally went through a tree and just found its way through. That is simply amazing. All right. Let's back it up even further and see how, see how much of an angle, see how far away we can get it. Okay, so it's at GPS tracking, all right. It's going 20 miles an hour right now. The Skydio can go up to, I believe, 36 miles an hour. All right, looks like it's running into a couple of trees, but it still has us. So we're gonna slow down here just a little bit and just make sure it has us. So I'm going to hit the minus button and bring it back in a little bit. All right. All right, let's go through here. So, a little side trail off the main road. It's a little bit tighter. We'll see how it does. I'm getting some pin striping on the Jeep here. We'll see if the Scottio can make it through. All right, so far it still has us. Issues followed us right through. We'll head down this way. So, in just a little bit of flying it right here, I've noticed um, it definitely tracks you when it's closer a lot better than it does when it's further away. Some more pinstriping on the Jeep. Scottio still has us right behind us. Alright, so I'm going to stop here and swing the Scottio around to the front of us. So you can track it from the back, the sides, or the front. So our back right, back left. So let's just move it. Let's see if we can get it all the way around to the front of us. So it's still in the back of us, but we may have to start moving for it to uh, see where the front of us is. Okay, here it goes, it's swinging around. There it is, right in front of us. And let's see if it missed those trees. Turn here, see if it gets back in front of us. Man, just an amazing piece of tech. That is just phenomenal. All right, back it up here a little bit. Here. Let's see if it'll keep us 
house in frame. So there's a tree right there. Let's see if it gets around it. Yep. Oh, wow. That is amazing to see it go through. water holes through here I don't want to go through so we're just gonna swing back around mm -hmm. may have to actually put it in four-wheel drive yeah, we're spinning our back tires a little bit so A little bit of loose sand right through here. So if you're a YouTuber and you have a video that's similar to mine, overlanding, off-roading, you like getting aerial shots of your vehicle, this is the drone to have. I mean, this thing is awesome. I can't believe it's gone through some of the stuff that we've gone through and it's had no issues. It just zips right through it. I'm impressed with this drone. This thing is amazing. Just the autonomy of it, uh, the fact that it can avoid obstacles. You know, it got into a couple trees. It found its way around the trees on its own. Um, simply just amazing piece of technology. Hands down my favorite drone I've ever owned and I'm hoping to use it a lot more with a lot of of my future videos that I make. And I don't know if I'm still gonna hang on to the DJI Mavic Mini or not. Um, I may sell it. Um, it really depends on, you know, the, the big downfall with the Scotty O2 is it's great at following you, um, but it's not great at getting other cinematic shots where you don't wanna be in the, the picture or the, the video. Like those shots where, like say if there's a lake that you wanna fly over or, you know, a, a nice trail or a mountain or whatever. It's not great at flying with the controller, which I did not get the controller. Um, I just got the beacon. All the reviews I've read online said the beacon is the way to go. I guess the controller was more of an afterthought. Um, it's borrowed tech from another company. And, you know, people would get this drone just because they want that follow me function. And that's why I got it. That's why I wanted it. And for that purpose, you know, I think it's gonna work out really well. Again, I know this isn't the typical video I make, however, I just wanted to introduce this drone and see what you guys think of it. I know it's still relatively new on the market. Um, they are taking forever to get to people. Like I said, I ordered mine back in October. I didn't get it until January. And I hear the uh, window for receiving one, if you order it, is about 60 days right now. I think it's definitely worth the investment, especially if you're doing videos like this. If you like this video, um, I do appreciate the support. Give it a thumbs up, give it a comment, subscribe. You know, everything really helps the channel out.